Okay, let's say that we have two transformations, transformation A and transformation B. The first transformation A is a reflection of the line y equals 1 over root 3x, and reflection, uh, transformation B, sorry, is a reflection of the line y equals root 3x. Now let's say then that I want to perform uh, A, then B, okay, and then describe what transformation that actually is. So, first of all, I'm going to need to know what these two matrices are. What is A and what is B? Now, if you have your formula booklet, then the transformation matrices that you want on page 6 for AQA. Um, so, we've gone through these already and how, where they came from. But the reflection in the line y equals tan theta x is cos 2 theta, sine 2 theta, sine 2 theta, minus cos 2 theta. Okay, that is a reflection in the line y equals tan theta x. So, what we want to do is we want to work out what that theta is. Because what we have here for A is that tan theta must be equal to the 1 over root 3. So we can inverse tan 1 over root 3, which is 30 degrees. So that means with third, uh, theta being 30 degrees, we can substitute that into the matrix itself. So we have cos of 60, which is a half, we've got sine of 60, which is root 3 over 2, so we've got root 3 over 2 there, and minus a half there. So that is matrix A. Now we need to find matrix B. So in a similar way, we can look at tan theta is equal to root 3. So if you inverse tan root 3, you get 60 degrees. So if you now substitute 60 degrees into this matrix, we have cos of 120, which is minus a half. You've got sine of 120, which is root 3 over 2. So that's root 3 over 2. And that's um, minus minus a half, so 1 half. So there's your two matrices, A and B. Now if we want to perform A then B, okay, remember that your matrices work so that they're on the left hand side. Okay? So if you want A then B, this is actually B A. B multiplied by A. You do the A first and then the B. So you work from the right, working left. Okay? So it's important to get that round the right way. So we have B, so minus a half, root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2, 1 half, multiplied by A, 1 half, root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2, minus a half. So we've got to multiply these matrices together. So we have minus a half times a half, so that's minus a quarter. Um, then we've got root 3 over 2 times root 3 over 2 is 3 quarters. So minus a quarter plus 3 quarters is 1 half. Then we've got minus a half times root 3 over 2, so that's minus uh, root 3 over 4. Then minus another root 3 over 4. Um, so I probably should be doing this on my calculus, that'd be um, minus root 3 over 2. I should be able to do it in my head, hopefully. Then we've got root 3 over 2 times a half, so that's root 3 over 4, plus another root 3 over 4, so that's root 3 over 2. And then we've got root 3 over 2 times root 3 over 2, so that's 3 over 4. And then take away a half, so that makes, uh, take away a quarter, sorry, is 1 half. So this is the matrix that is the composite transformation, so the combined transformation of A then B. Okay, so 
I would be wanting to um, describe this transformation. Now, if you're completely at a loss as to what type of transformation this is, a good way of doing it is to refer back to our old friends, 1, 0 and 0, 1. Now, 1, 0 has been moved to 1 half root 3 over 2. So, 1 half root 3 over 2 is there. Okay? So, that's moved there. And then, 0, 1 has moved to minus root 3 over 2, 1 half. So, minus root 3 over 2, 1 half. So, that's around here. So, well, you can see that because they're both going in one direction, this must be a rotation. So this must be a rotation, so I can compare that with the rotation matrix, which was cos theta, sine theta, uh, minus sine theta, sorry, sine theta, cos theta. That's in the formula booklet as well, same page as the last one. So that would infer that cos theta is a half, and sine theta is root 3 over 2. So, inverse cosine of a half is 60 degrees, and inverse sine of root 3 over 2 is also 60 degrees. And so, this must be a rotation uh, anti-clockwise by 60 degrees about the origin. That defines that matrix.